Hey guys, welcome to another Key Factor video. I'm Sven, and today I'm going to walk you through how to upgrade the eGBCA container when you're running it in Docker, and how simple this is to start up the container to back up the database, and then power it back down, pull the latest container, and then start it back up, and be able to pick up where you left off with your testing or whatever you want to do with the container. All right, from there, let's kick it off. If you're logging into the eGBCA web, you see that we're on version 7.11 here. And obviously I haven't updated this in a while. Let's go through and look at how easy this is to upgrade. So what we're gonna end up doing is going over here to the command prompt and we're gonna SSH over to my virtual host that I've had that I've used in the other videos of doing the Docker container, logging in with the username and password. All right, let's CD over to the containers directory. There we go. And we'll take a little look at starting the container. We'll run the Docker Compose up to start the container in the database. And the next thing we want to do is back up the database. We'll run this command here where we've got Docker Compose. And we're going to exec into the database container, do a MySQL dump of the EGBCA database, and pipe it out to that file with the date. We did that. And then we can list, and now we've got a backup. Let's take a look at that of the SQL file. And there, we've got our database backed up that quickly. Cool. So the next thing that we're going to do is stop the containers with Docker Compose. Do Docker Compose down, and that's going to stop the EGBCA and database containers. So the next thing we have to do is edit the Docker Compose YAML file. So in here, if I did not have the latest set, like let's say I had version 7.11 for the tag, I'd go and update that to the next version that I want to upgrade to. But since I've got latest here, I don't actually need to make any changes. So I'll just save and close the file. And now I'm going to do a Docker pull, or a Docker image list, sorry, to see what image we have here. And then we'll do a pull for the EGBC with the latest that and that will pull now the latest container down we got a really nice internet connection today so it's going nice and quickly all right so it's downloading the layers and then we will be ready to launch again so with it updated now we can run the docker image list and we can see that the image was pushed seven weeks ago from the community days when we needed the image there. And now the old one was set to none. And we'll do the Docker Compose up to start this. And with that, we'll look at the Docker image name. And we'll just double check that it's eGBCA-node one. And then we can do a Docker logs to watch that it's coming online and there's no errors being thrown in the logs. It's just about there. And then we see the health check URL. So now we know we can go to the web UI and see that it's upgraded. So we'll hop back over to the Firefox browser and we'll do a refresh. We have a new cert cut. That's why we have the little warning. So we'll just accept it. And voila, we are now at eGBCA 8.1 and we can see that the colors didn't refresh. So if I actually go into a private window, it would have that set for us. And that's. All it takes now to get eGBC upgraded to back up the database, pull the latest container down, and restart it, and you're ready to go. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down in the video, or check us out over in the GitHub discussions for the eGBCA Community Edition project, and ask any questions there, and we're happy to respond.